are very conversant with the news, you would have come across the story where the Department of State Security, the DSS, you no know, sounds an alarm that there is an attempt to install an interim president within the nation, despite the fact that we have a sitting outgoing president and an incoming president which was elected in the just concluded general elections. Sub, um, sub sequel to this actually, or let's say before the DSS talked about this, Festa Skiamo happens to be the spokesperson of the All Progressive Congress, sounded this alarm again to the DSS, writing to them about some derogatory statements made by some political figures which was geared towards destabilizing the country and the status quo of the nation. And this could lead to us having an interim government, which Kiamo himself says and postulates that it is an attempt by these political figures to ensure that they put in an interim government so that Ashiwa Jibola Ahmed Tunubu is not going to be a part of this government. Kiamo even said that many of these political figures should be arrested. Well, we are on the streets of Lagos today, particularly at Ikeja, to discuss with citizens and meet with them what their views are on this move by the DSS or this alarm by the DSS. What do they think is going to be the fate of Nigerians if an interim government is set? Is that the way to go? Remember that in June 12, after the elections, we experienced this, where the elections was annulled and an interim government was placed when Ibrahim Babangida, that is General Ibrahim Babangida, left power and introduced uh, Dr. Ernest Shoneko. Now, we are on the streets today to discover this from people. What are their views about this particular move? What are their views about the current ongoing protest? And how much do you trust the judiciary? Looking at the fact that many of these cases are already in the courts, you know, being discussed by the judiciary. That's talking about electoral materials. How much do you trust the judiciary to ensure that the right judgment is given? I am on the streets. My name is Yoneda Joshua Adeji, and this is still a court blog. So keep it locked to us as we take you on this very beautiful journey. Thank you. So I, I would just ask, like, who do we want to intervene? Is it the DSS that wants to intervene? Is it the Nigerian people that are asking for intervention? Like, who are we asking to come and intervene on our behalf? Are we calling on the British? Are, are we calling on the US? Like, everybody is having to battle their own right now. Who intervened for Brexit when Brexit was separating from the UK? Do you understand? We are supposed to take the things that is very important to us as, as a co country. There's nobody out there that will help us. And the earlier we understand that, the earlier we begin to work with what the government has provided for us, the better for us, really. So, for the Unitarian government, I don't, I don't even see why there's anybody clamoring or expecting that. Like, what has this government uh, done? that we believe that there's a need for an interim government. Like, and the question would still back to the files. What would the interim government come to do that would be different? Like, what change would this interim government bring us? What's in the constitution for interim government that is going to uh, spike change? Like, what's, what, what, are, what are we anticipating that the interim government will give us? Like, it is the question that we should be asking ourselves. Like, how can this interim government help us? that this government cannot help us, that we're already at this change level, we're already fighting for this change, we're already clamoring for this change, but calling on another, um, another constitution away from what we already understand would mean that we have to begin to work on their constitution. This interim government, what can they offer us? I think my question is just what, can the, what would the interim government offer us that is different from what we are clamoring on right now? The judiciary itself, you know, as there has been some fluctuation in it, but I, just, I don't think that there's as much flaws in the system as we um, come on. The, more, the question is more on the constitution. These people work with what is already written in the books. The first thing we should start is how we rewrite our constitution. Those constitutions were written a long time ago, you know. The earliest would be maybe like 1998 or something. I'm not a lawyer, yeah. But we should more come on more on the change in our constitution than the judiciary. The system would always be there. It's like a body anatomy in biology. It doesn't change. It is how you help it. It is how you advance it. It is how you look better. You know, we are we're very big now. We are, we are not placing our head. Like, that's exactly how the judiciary is. There's no flaw in the There might be slight flaws in the judiciary system, but it is our constitution that should change. That's my own opinion. I feel like we can up, update it based on the happenings of, of recent time, you know, based on um, how we are 
even our population, for instance, our our constitution should change based on the numbers of youths that we have now. We have more youths than the growing uh, this thing. Unlike the um, like the improved economy, uh, economies that have more older people and less younger people, they are trying to work on their constitution to allow them to have more younger people in the system. We already have these numbers. So our constitution should change to enhance our younger people to be able to explore their capacities. You know, maybe people retire at six. I'm just saying, for instance, you know, so that there's a system that ups, helps us update it. Like, that's, that's how I feel. That's my belief. As a matter of fact, DSS is actually doing us no good by giving us such a, a red alert. It's an utter alert. It's not supposed to come. It's a secret service. If you are actually having an information of that magnitude, what you should do is to work underneath and come up with something substantial. Not that we will be giving everybody panic as it is right now, okay? So that's a, that's a side. You know, and uh, interim as it were, well, Nigeria has gone beyond that. Going into interim government is another thing, taking us million steps backwards. So that's what I think about that. As a matter of fact, people are not happy with the, pro, uh, with the election. The election is just like uh, it's a shadow of itself. That's not, so that's why you can see people protesting at every corner, at every look and cranny of, of everywhere in Nigeria. People are not happy. People are disappointed. The INEC has disappointed everyone in Nigeria. All our leadership, they have failed. Every system has collapsed. So what do you expect? People are definitely going to show their grievances by going out and to protest. And you know, protest in Nigeria today now is a, is a million dollar thing. If you go out to protest, if you don't know your way, you will even be arrested, even on your right. So people going about is legal, it's legitimate, but how far can we go? Talking about our judiciary as well too, it's been bought over. You are not going to get the best from the judiciary because they are being hijacked by so-called, you know, some people in the corridors of power. So we, don't, we are not expecting anything good from them. Nothing good can come out from that particular judgment. If people are taking any matter to the court, our judiciary has failed us. I tell you, if they bring in any interim government, who are the people that are going to come in for the interim? Are they not the same people that we know? At the end of the day, they will go and bring in one retired soldier somewhere who is equally in the same chain of ideology like them. No. That's why I say the interim is not... There is nobody who is going to come in as an interim government that will be able to serve us better. That's just my own take. Nobody will come in interim in Nigeria that will give us anything strange. We need somebody who can move, somebody who can stand, somebody who can actually face the music, somebody who can nip, the, nip it in the ball, but we can't have it. So to me, the interim is just like a mental ascent. It doesn't work. Yeah, well, um, you know, um, we are in a country where propaganda flies a lot. So uh, presently, I don't think, I don't think there's, um, I don't think there is, um, there is, um, a threat to that. yes, uh, no, no, um, uh, no, oh, no, um, I don't think there is a provision mm. eh, to stage an interim government, mm. uh, getting either by the government or by some group of people. Mm. I don't think because already election is already concluded. Um, some have been declared winner, even though we don't accept it. But the way election goes, the usual way election goes in this country, they've selected whosoever want to be the president. So, uh, an interim, to my understanding, an interim has to be a legitimate government in which the government, the sitting, the sitting government, have to appoint some people. Are you getting it to stand in? And they will step aside. So, um, um, an interim has to be a legal stuff eh, that has to be ushered into the administration of the country, not by some group of protesters that have no either political or elective power. So, I um, that aspect eh, from the DSS, I don't think is. I mean, it's not true. But do you feel that the activities of the protesters are right? We saw some of them go to the defense headquarters, you know, to demand for even a coup d'etat and some other acts of, of uh, um, protest. Do you think it's right to even protest at this time when the case is already in the courts? Uh, yeah, you know what? Um, constitutionally, uh, we have the right to protest in as much eh, that it's not inclined in a violent manner. Mm. 
So you get it, you can yeah, you can display placard and then walk on the street peacefully. You can protest to show your grievance. So you get it. So the the security operative have no right yeah, to debar you or to prevent you from hearing your yeah, your opinion, in respective of the fact that it's already in court. So you know that that one shows how serious eh, you are about what you have already tendered in court. So, but if you are protesting, make it peaceful. Yeah. So no, I mean no law prevents someone from protesting. protesting. But the judiciary have been compromised for a very long time. Yeah, you guys. So. Um, any judgment that comes from the court and, it's, and it favors the common man, just know that it is God eh, that made it look that way. So, in this country, the, um, you, know, you, know, you know, this country we are highly corrupt. So, anybody can be bought. So, judiciary have been compromised for a very long time. So, I don't, I don't believe in the, in the court system. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's fine. To me, I, prefer, I will say that the interim government is not what we need for now. The DSS should just think about the future of this country and let the government go ahead with the new president elect for the nation. Because I believe that if the interim government or president come up, we are going to have what we call a standing vision for the nation. Because the new interior government coming in, nobody knew what he or she has as a plan for the nation. But there is a government that is having a great plan for the nation, which is the Ashiraju Bola Met in Nobu. We should not all look at the man that is old. It was the man I have upstairs for the nation that we should look up to. To my only two suggestion, we should not plan of interim government at all. Myself. It's fine, sure. There will be a protest. Even though it's the other party that win, there will still be a protest. In this nation today now, you can't satisfy even your brother in your house. Even you know your friends. You can't satisfy, no matter how. If it's possible for us to have three presidents, we will not still satisfy. So you get. So the protest of things, it will come up just for the meantime. People will understand that um, what is going on today is what we are facing. It's the chapter of today. Tomorrow it will be another chapter. So I will advise people that protest is good, but not to destroy things. And it's just to protest, to fight for the rights of the people. So that the next president that is coming in, we know what people want. All the dictionaries, they are in one party. The government of today owns everything. They can't judge for the government that is trying to protest against the government of today. Let me say the facts. The ball is in their court, and they know how they are going to play the ball to the net. So you get. So they will just try to satisfy people that are protesting, or people that are in the other parties, to just know that they are doing their so I feel that it is a great call from the DSS because those people that are demanding for interim government, they do not know what we face through to get this democratic practice we are operating now. So I feel that most of them are ignorant of what we go through because I was even reading on social media, I was seeing some people saying that the military should come and take over. No, we don't want that again. At least. Um, INEC has declared the winner, so I feel that we should just come together and um, support the person that is in power. Even though we are not in support of the person, at least 
we should know that we are all together to make our nation a better place. No, I don't see any impossibilities because having an interim government is going to disrupt our democratic process. Nigeria, our democracy is just developing and I don't think it is up to... Since we started 1999 and we are in 2023 now. I, I feel that we are evolving. So as time goes on, I think we are going to get it right. So we should just, we, the people that feel that they've lost during this election, I feel that it should be a wake-up call for them to organize themselves for the next election. And we should, the life of any Nigerian is not what, like, nobody should, I don't feel that they should rob violence because of that. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Protest does not solve anything. What it does is just instigate violence. It does not solve anything. Because those people that came out to protest against police brutality, still now we still have people being brutalized by the police. So I feel that protest does not solve anything. Generally, protest, protest is, uh, is uh, to me, is part of uh, civic expression, so to say. So it shouldn't be. It's, it's global. So protest happens virtually everywhere in the world. And protest is simply uh, a means whereby people actually express whatever they feel. So, and protest could either be positive or negative, depends on how it's been tailored. So, to me personally, I don't believe uh, protest is bad. So, it's just a means of expression. So, who am I to say I didn't trust? <laughs> I should trust. I should. So, the word I should, because that is their office, it's quite different from my office. So whatever the case may be, to me, I'm not in the uh, best position to query any, any department because I strongly believe that in one way or the other, every department are actually working. So that's to me, anyway, I, I believe. Well, based on the process of the country, I don't necessarily believe it should be. I don't believe it should, the introduction of interim government presently for now because everything has to, in life has to, 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 to be with a, a progress and process. So there are processes to things. So whenever the, 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 the actual, the, let me say, the, the actual hand is actually not coming presently. So it's all about Nigerians. How we just admonish everyone to just stay calm and let's believe in the process. So that's all. And there you have it. We've discussed to the people of Lagos about this particular issue and what they feel about it and you've heard their views, you've heard what they talked about, you've heard how much they trust the judiciary to deliver the right judgment at the courts as well as the fact that many claims that they don't really need an interim government at this particular time, that is not what is the next thing for the country. One actually said that they don't believe that such a thing can happen because there is no legal provision for that looking at the situation that we are in in this country as a town. Well, it's left to see. Let's see what happens, let's see what transpires. This is a topic that on a quartz blog, we will keep discussing it maybe next week again on this particular station. But we would like you to keep it locked. So do well to ensure that you are following a quartz blog on all our social media platforms, especially our YouTube channel. Yes, our YouTube channel. Do well to ensure that you go on YouTube and subscribe to a quartz blog. So we'll meet next time. My name is Yonada Joshua Yodeji. Peace.